Okay, so I've been doing videos on drag and dropping files into a shell script, and I did three of them, and then a few days later, I remembered about YAD. I'm assuming that's how you say it. Y-A-D. If you're familiar with Xenity, which I've shown in previous videos, YAD is a lot like Xenity, uh, but uh, has a lot more features uh, to it, so a lot more functionality, and uh, its drag and drop feature is very nice. So let's have a look at that really quick. Uh, so... Once it's installed, it should be in your repositories for most distributions, but, oops, YAD. Okay, so YAD will create dialogue, and again, it does lots of different types of dialogue, but if we tell it dash dash DND, that's a drag and drop dialogue. If I hit enter now, you can see we get this little dialogue box right here. And if I select photos or any files, and I grab them, I can bring them up here, right there, and I can drag and drop, and it automatically puts them, uh, the text for the path name, right into the shell there. And then I can hit close and continue with my script. Okay, so really small. So we could also add in dash dash text equals and give it some text. Please drag and drop files here with a capital here for some reason. There we go. It's a little bit bigger now. Again, I can take these files. I can drag and drop them there. I can highlight some more, drag and drop them, and it just puts the, the full path to the file right there. And then I can hit close and my script will continue. Um, also, that's still kind of a small box, very easy. I can go dash dash with equals. I can say like, uh, let's do 720. And now we have a much wider dialog box to drag to. I can also give it a height, dash dash height equals, uh, we'll say 480. And now we have a very large box to drag to. Uh, but you also notice that it is giving the file name with the file prefix here, which we don't really need. There's a few different ways to get rid of that. Um, and uh, said, you could tell it said to remove this text here. Uh, but the uh, example that I saw online used this. So I'm going to stick with this for right now. So if I come in here and I pipe this into said, and I say said, and I say substitute any line that begins with dot 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 forward slash forward slash uh, so basically it's looking for text there uh, i can do that and the program looks the same but now when i drag and drop it doesn't have that file prefix so again that's from an example i saw online if i was to do this i would probably do something like this uh, file colon uh, forward slash forward slash oh you know it's removed i see what they're doing now uh, i could do that and this should accomplish the same thing yep uh, or if you want it to be a little bit clearer, you know, you don't have to use forward slashes when you're using set. I think a lot of people don't realize that because it's confusing if you have forward slashes. So I could just do any symbol that I want. And if I'm using forward slashes in my string, I may not want to use forward slashes as my special character. So doing this, I like using the pipe symbol, drag and drop, accomplish the same thing. So basically you just need to cut away that, that file beginning. But again, the basic command is just yad dash dash dnd, all lowercase, and it will give you a drag and drop. And again, you can then put that into a variable, an array, run it through a while loop of some sort. But yeah, uh, I can't believe I forgot about this when I was making those previous videos. Uh, this is probably better than all the other options if YAD is installed on your system. Again, we went over different ways to do it where maybe you don't have YAD available. Um, so check out my previous videos. I do thank you for watching. As always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.